In this video, we are going to see some problems on complex numbers for first year students. So let us start with some elementary properties first. So let me just recall z which is a complex number can be written in the form of x plus i y where this i is square root of minus 1. This x and y they are real numbers. This z is called as a complex number. For example z is equal to 2 plus 3i. This is a complex numbers. The set of complex numbers is denoted by C. So this Z complex number belongs to C. The C is the set of complex numbers. R is the set of real numbers. So this X and Y they should be real numbers and the entire combination of X, Y with this I that becomes a complex number. Now what is z bar? z bar is the conjugate of z. So the conjugate of z is denoted by z bar which is given by x minus i y. So this is z, this is z bar. What is an example of this then? So if I take z equal to 2 plus 3i what is the conjugate of 2 plus 3i? The conjugate of 2 plus 3i is 2 minus 3i. So I am only going to change the sign of the y component. That is minus 3. This is the conjugate. We also find something called as magnitude of z. What is magnitude of z? Magnitude of z, it is denoted by mod z. What is magnitude of z? If I draw a picture of a complex number, which is x, and here I have a y coordinate. So this complex number, we are going to denote by x plus i y. So this length, this length is y units. This length is x units and this length is called magnitude of z which is by Pythagoras we will get magnitude of z is square root of x square plus y square. So basically what is magnitude of z? Magnitude of z is nothing but how far is the complex number from the origin that is mod z which is magnitude of z. Now if we look at these numbers you will observe that if I let me write it as an exercise if I write what is z plus z bar what is z plus z bar so I will write z is equal to x plus i y and what is z bar z bar is x minus i y the i y component will cancel and we will get it 2x so we are concluding that z plus z bar is 2x which means that x is nothing but z plus z bar upon 2 what is x? x is the real part of z x is the real part of z which we denote by real part of z is given by z plus z bar upon 2. On the other hand if we try to calculate z minus z bar then what will happen? The x will cancel we will get x plus i y minus x minus i y the x component will cancel and we will get i y and an i y which will be 2 i y and therefore what is our observation that z minus z bar is 2 i 
y which means that y is equal to z minus z bar upon 2 i and what is y equal to it is this y is nothing but imaginary part of z so this z minus z bar is imaginary part i m of z means imaginary part of z so we have derived two equations from this basic stuff now let us proceed to the next part now we will take two complex numbers we will take two complex numbers z1 which is 1 plus 2i and second we will take z2 is equal to 2 plus 3i we will try to find out some simple calculations here now z what is z1 plus z2 then let me say what is z1 minus z2 what is mod z1 then we will try to find what is z1 multiplied by z2 and z1 divided by z2 we will do this simple calculations now so that we will be uh, fast enough in the next sessions so what is z1 plus z2 i am doing z1 plus z2 now which is equal to 1 plus 2i plus 2 plus 3i real part and real part 1 plus 2 will become 3 plus 2i plus 3i will become 5i so this is the answer of z1 plus z2 if i try to find what is z1 minus z2 i will get 1 plus 2i minus 2 plus 3i so i will subtract them now 1 minus 2 is minus 1 and 2i minus 3i will become minus i so i will get minus 1 minus i as a subtraction the third part is mod z1 mod z1 is nothing but we know what is mod of z mod of z is given by the formula square root of x square plus y square so what is the mod of 1 plus 2i this is x and what is y y is 2 so this will become square root of 1 square plus 2 square no i square only y square which is equal to square root of 5 so mod z1 is square root of 5 the fourth part is we will find what is z1 into z2 we will multiply the two complex numbers so what is z1 multiplied by z2 now here you have to use somewhere that i square is given by minus 1 because i was square root of minus 1 this means that i square is minus 1 let us see where i am using that so i am going to write 1 plus 2i multiplied by 2 plus 3i and therefore i will get it as 2 plus 3i plus 4i plus 6 i square but i know that i square is minus 1 so i'm going to get 2 plus 7i and i square is minus 1 so i'm going to get a minus 6 and therefore i will get 2 and minus 6 will become minus 4 plus 7i this is z1 z2 and what is last part which is z1 upon z2 let us find what is z1 upon z2 I am erasing this now. What is z1 upon z2? So let them let them be written like this. So z1 upon z2 is 1 plus 2i divided by 2 plus 3i. This I will multiply the numerator and denominator by conjugate of the denominator. Means I will have 1 plus 2i upon 2 plus 3i multiply by 
conjugate of the denominator is 2 minus 3i into 2 minus 3i. And we know how to multiply them now. So I will multiply these two complex numbers again, upstairs and downstairs. So I am doing the calculation for numerator now. 2 minus 3i plus 4i minus 6i square divided by 4 minus 6i plus 6i minus 9i square. Again I know that i square is equal to minus 1. So this will become 2 plus i minus 6 multiplied by minus 1 which is plus 6. So I will write down a plus 6 divided by plus 6 i minus 6 i will cancel and I will have 4 minus 9 into i square but i square is minus 1. This minus 1 will become plus 1 with the sign over plus here. So I am going to get 8 plus i divided by 13. So now this is the answer of z1 upon z2. So this finishes our video here.